Well, welcome back. It'd be Sarah affordable. The second round action on the stream gets underway for the final time this weekend. The last Outside. event. And it's Maria O'Brien who reached the semi finals yesterday. Outside. Taking on Sarah Milkowski, who won a match yesterday, has played in some of the women's series events before, and is very well known in the darting community. Outside. Very well known. She's got a, a huge following Outside. on social media. Something of a, an influencer in Arrow's land. And she gets a big moment Outside. on the live stream against Maria O'Brien, who Nigel will feel that she should have made a final Outside. yesterday. Yes, absolutely. He was in a good position and couldn't see it through. Big disappointment, but um, today is a new day. It was Robin Byrne who beat her okay. after yeah. O'Brien had missed four different segments to give herself a double in that deciding leg. Missing the big number four times on the spin, including the last one busting the score, which meant Byrne came back to the board and okay. completed the finish. Yeah, frustration. 25, Maria's won the ball. So Maria will go first here. Game on. Against uh, Sarah Milkowski. Now she's come over as part of a trio of German players, travelled together. 70. And both of the other two out in the first round. Uh, Bettina Gruber, who we saw earlier on the stream, and Stephanie Hoinsberg. And Milkowski straight into the treble 20. She had a bye into this second round, but as I mentioned, she did win. A game yesterday, lost to Steph Stutley well, in event two, but enjoyed victory in event one against Katie Woodcock. 85. Yes, and we are now into the uh, second round, which is the last 64, and Leanne Topper has beaten Caroline Breen 4-1, and Debbie McBride has just beaten Emma Smith 4-0. 95. So we're uh, off and running. One hundred. Good visit. It's been neat and tidy from O'Brien so far, but Malkowski staying with her. Forty. And that's not neat and tidy, so an opportunity for Sarah to steal a march in this opening leg. Yeah, well, both have hit a ton in this leg. But Sarah's hit 81, 85 and a ton, so... 45. She's been fairly consistent up to then. 100. But you would fancy Maria O'Brien on well, the evidence of what we've seen so far this weekend. So close to a place in a final. And will probably have been kicking herself last night that she saw that situation pulled away from her but she contributed to her own downfall as well against Robin Byrne yeah a much more experienced player been around a long time has been taking out shots like this for years double nine now 78 uh, Milkowski someone who's fairly new to the competitive tour if you like yeah and you have to give full credit to anyone who Gets on a plane and gives it a go. I agree totally, yeah. Fair play to uh, Sarah. Now double nine from Maria O'Brien. Ten. Wow. It should be bull. Not sure if it was a slip or if she was going for... Treble 17, it would have been a strange choice. But what we do know is O'Brien will be back looking to bed double four. Joanne locks through, 4-1. No surprise there. And double four for Maria O'Brien now is double two. Lucky she didn't go in the double 15. Absolutely. Four scored. But really chance. making hard work of this, Chris. Yeah, giving a chance here to Milkowski. And don't forget, this is O'Brien's darts. It's got to be 15 bull. 
just having a think, making sure that she gets herself a dart at the ball. And it is the ball. 23. Well, Maria wants to stop messing around. Is this the end of Maria's mess? It is. She takes a lead, but only after faffing around on the doubles, allowing her opponent a chance to bed the ball to sneak the leg. Yeah, that was hard work, but she got there in the end, Maria O'Brien. There was a lot of frustration creeping yeah. in there, you sensed. Now, can she start finding the big numbers that we have seen from her this weekend? 45. But only 45. But interestingly, after three events, Maria O'Brien sitting ninth in the order of merit. And remember, after 12 events, the top eight will make it to the first ever Women's World match play. So very much in the hunt, 43. Maria. But a, a run here would cement her position. Just to run through the top eight, Lisa Ashton, of course, leading the way after winning two events. Fallon Sherrick in second, then... 41. Three of the beaten finalists in third, fourth and fifth. Rianne Griffiths, Joanne Locke and, I'm sorry, Aileen DeGraff are beaten semi-finalists, to correct myself there. And Lorraine Wynn Stanley, Robin Byrne and Chloe O'Brien, who we will see in action next Seven scored. on this stream. Against Tracy North. That's right. So we know that O'Brien can play so much He's better set. than this. It's really scrappy. 45 and 41 and now 67. And Sarah struggled with 39, 43 and a single seven score line. But that's better with a treble 20 from Sarah. Puts yes. her in a decent position. She played at the Women's Series last year and she practices darts a lot. She's been involved in some exhibitions and things, Sarah Milkowski. She wasn't overexcited about appearing on the stream last year. I don't think she felt quite ready to to be in front of the cameras. 22. So there may be a few nerves for her. But there shouldn't be for Maria, a player of her experience, that run to the semi-finals. As I mentioned, during that match, she beat Fallon Sherrick at the World Championship 100. at the Lakeside yeah. a few years ago. Well, that was more like it. She's just hit, just hit a ton in a leg which features 26, 41, 45... Sarah's been so inconsistent here. Needs a treble from somewhere, but that's such a disappointment for her to only hit 41. It's advantage O'Brien here if she can hit a treble somewhere along the line. 45. She's still in a pretty good position on 177. Sarah's way back on 268 minus these. 228. Wow. And now a treble 20. Pulls that out of the bag nicely. Yeah, unlucky for her, it doesn't leave a finish. No. Maria is 45. uncharacteristically all over the place in this match. And if she carries on like this, it's going to be every opportunity for Mikowski to win legs. I just don't see the, the, the semi-finalist here in Maria O'Brien. It's com completely contrasting what she did last night. More the semi-finalists from those last two visits alone. But this could be something special. Another ball oh. for double 16. Yep, 100 scored. And it would be magic from Maria. 100. Oh, how close. How close. <laughs> I was just about to eat my words then, wasn't I? Two bullseyes. Wow. Brilliant from O'Brien, but couldn't quite get over the line with the finish. Well, she's reminded us how good she is. Maybe she's just reminded herself as well. Maybe so, yeah. So she's coming back here for double 16 now. Green bit, 2-0 she leads. And that was a scrappy leg of darts, but she is in control of this match now and has the throw here for a 3-0 lead to go one away from the last 32. But again, very scrappy. Look at this, a 1 and a 5. 26. 26 scored. We didn't see darts like that yesterday. Yeah, not at all. This is a woman who, as I mentioned, has had success on the BDO and WDF circuits, has won seven ranking titles, along with being part of 
England teams that have got on to win trophies as well. Claire Brooking four, Katie Woodcock one. Joanne Locke four one against Sarah Jane Gowans and Chrissy Manley is through. It's Abby Jerb four two. Well done, Chrissy. Another yeah, great player in years gone by, former world number one. Back in the day, Chrissy Manley. Through to the last 32. Five. Great stuff. Well, Kim Holden's 3 0 up on Leanne Wilson. And we saw Kim a pale shadow of what she can be on the live stream yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, I really think that nerves did play a part in that one. I'm sure they're playing a part in. 85. Sarah's struggles here. And Kim Holder just won 4 0. Well done, Kim. Delighted for you after quite clearly the uh, struggles that we saw on the live stream yesterday. So. Well done, Kim Holden. Great stuff. Juliet Finley, four. Marlene Badger, one. That's a final score as well. 100. Yeah, this game in progress, very much advantage Maria O'Brien right now. Another top player through. Ten-time world champion Trina Gulliver, 4-1 over Amanda Harwood. 41. I haven't seen Trina on the, street, on the stream this weekend so far. The throw is a delight to watch. This would be a delight to watch. I haven't bumped into Trina either. I uh, I did a 84. World Championship commentating with Trina and uh, was hoping to bump into her this weekend for a catch-up. That's something we've got in common there because I had the pleasure of Trina's company during the World Seniors in the commentary box. There you go. After she'd been beaten the day before. 81. By, in fact, the eventual winner, Robert Thornton. Double eight here for O'Brien for a three leg lead. 68. Yeah, the seniors is exciting actually. Really enjoyed dipping in and out of that tournament. I know there's other seniors tournaments to come as well, 41. which is great. A, a win win for darts fans. Double four. Maria O'Brien is one leg away from the last 32. With that finish, finally getting her act together. Well, I spoke to Lisa Ashton, obviously, after winning the second event yesterday. And after losing her to a card, as a, a right smile from Sarah there after finding double top inadvertently, she'll take it. A ton plus score in the end, 101. But yeah, Lisa Ashton actually has so much she can possibly play in. She's part of the seniors tour. She's played at things like the Live League. She can play on the Challenge Tour. She's got the Women's Series, <laughs> potentially the World Match Play, potentially the World Championship. Who needs a tour card? <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely, a real opportunity. It's fantastic that the opportunities are there. Forty-three. Well, there was a time that only a, a, a select few players on the professional circuit even made a living, but now you can make a good living without even having a tour card. Forty-five. Well, frustration for Maria O'Brien. Absolutely, and and this is why I'm so delighted that what you mentioned earlier. From a women's darts point of view, great to see Fallon Sherrick now have the opportunity to really cash in on what she's achieved in terms of um, the Alexandra Palace a couple of years ago when she wasn't able to follow that up because of the pandemic and l lost out on so much, Fallon Sherrick. So I really hope she has a great year ahead as a reward for the fantastic stuff she did at the Ali Pali that year, that win against Ted Evitts, that win against Mensur. Just fantastic. Yeah, and let's not forget since then what she did at the Grand Slam last Absolutely, year. Absolutely, yeah. Reaching the quarterfinals. If anybody says that she doesn't deserve a spot of the World Series, then just go back and watch the match against Two. Peter Wright because, by the way, she ran in very close in a long format game. My point is that she missed out on so much over two years and hopefully this is the year where Fallon can finally get a reward. Really hope so. 39. Earn the chance and gets the chance. <coughs> Doesn't look like Sarah Milkowski will get many, if any, more chances in this match. Just a solitary dart at the bullseye. 44. To win the opening leg has been as good as it has got for Sarah, despite uh, well below par performance from Maria O'Brien. Yeah, Maria's been a pale shadow of the player that we saw yesterday. And again, she hits top, Sarah. 80. 
She has a wry smile on her face about hitting tops. Get her in the Grand Prix. Yeah, she'll be fine. Good darts here from O'Brien. Leaves the 60. So Maria O'Brien is going to come back for a stab at 60 to go through to the last 32. 45. And then Chloe O'Brien and Tracy North will be welcomed onto the stream stage. Tops needed for Maria O'Brien. Now double 10 to go through. 50. Well, how about this to announce yourself onto the live stream? A bit of Milkowski magnificence. Another. Hello. Oh, hello. A double five. Well, this would be incredible. <laughs> 120. Well, she threatened it, was and then I think she got Big almost as excited away. as we did. Right, one. No. Six scored. Well, Maria's making hard work of getting over the finish line here. And Sarah could... No score. No, I was just going to say steal the leg, but she's got a wry smile on her face. So, right, this time, Maria O'Brien perhaps, double two for a 4 nil victory. Double one. Maybe fittingly that the match ends in the madhouse, but O'Brien can't find it. And a chance for Sarah to seal her leg. Double five again, the target. Has to be mindful of not missing the big number, but it does happen. And surely now, surely, surely, Nigel. No score. You were saying? My goodness. So try some reverse psychology. Surely not. Not possible. Can't go in. Definitely won't hit it. Five well, scored. Well it doesn't work either that way. Chris, you're trying your best. You're really trying your best. I'll leave it to you now. Double one for the match. No score. No score. I did my best as well. All right, so no one score. for double two. She's hit 18. No score. Yeah, the hard bit for Sarah here is getting the single one because what she's done there, having hit the 18 before, she's over adjusted. Doing whatever she can to try and stay in the match. All getting a little bit too much, but it's all getting too much for O'Brien as well. No score. I didn't start a tally chart of missed doubles. No score. Good dart. Yeah, it's just, you can just see the pressure. She's nervous, isn't she? Laughing away, but. That can be a marker, Chris. That well, can that, be another marker that can as well. Be. Oh, yes, finally in the end, Maria O'Brien gets there after several missed opportunities, but it's a 4-0 victory over Sarah Milkowski, who's